video and in today's video we are chilling with one of the rarest cars that we've ever purchased on this youtube channel and that right here is a z4m we'll get into the details of why this car is actually super rare and what makes it so coveted in a little bit but right now it is freezing cold i'm gonna get a thumbnail and let's push this bad boy inside because uh <laughs> that's gonna be a mission in itself by the way did i tell you guys it came with no keys yeah it doesn't <laughs> the bread and butter and that is the s54 engine paired with the manual transmission the same one that comes out of an e46 m3 it has the beautiful z4m specific headlights the z4m front end bumper honestly it looks absolutely stunning we have the z4m rear bumper paired up with the quantum exhaust z4m specific and what makes this z4m even better is the fact that it is a coupe so much more rare, so much more coveted, a very sought out for it. I honestly consider rebuilding this, but it's pretty class. This is honestly the most ideal S54 chassis you could possibly have. And the beauty is it's literally all right here, or at least what's left of it. So looking right here, the S54 engine, there's no fire in this engine bay. And actually, if you guys look back here as well, even the firewall, the interior didn't actually get through to the engine bay. So it's like, what did exactly start this fire? The fire definitely started from the inside cabin because right back here, there is no fire damage up there in the engine bay. There's no fire damage. It's pretty much centered right over here. It could have been the fact that he left a cigarette in the car or I don't know, like something, just uh, something sparked. Could have been electrical. Could have been the radio could've, shorting out. Could have been. At the same time, I'm, I'm always thinking that it could be a cigarette. I mean, <laughs> I'm honest to God. I just, I think sometimes when people just leave it in the center console and you leave the car, or whatever, and then bada bing, bada bang, he came, saw the car, and you guys can see the damage is literally centered. It's not out here. It was from the inside coming out to the outside, coming through the windshield, uh, coming around to the back. It was actually insane. Like it was a lot of fire damage, but thankfully they did stop it um, and prevented the rear end from actually burning. So the whole rear end of this car, including the hatch, is good, and also prevented it from actually passing through the firewall, getting around to the front end, and preserving all these beautiful z4m parts now the only thing that's super unfortunate is i think the fire squad the fire team you know jab some crowbars in here you can probably even see this as well right here and they were just jabbing and jabbing they said screw this z4m there's nothing cool about it and just literally destroyed a perfectly good front end like this is this is done by the fire team look at that <laughs> that's depressing so uh, yeah, there is still a lot of good parts on here. Hopefully these headlights are not damaged. I think the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and remove are those headlights. Those are very, very, very rare. And uh, I think I couldn't even honestly find any comparisons on eBay currently. I think one set sold a few months back. So very rare to see those. Again, this actually has M suspension front and rear, the differential, um, the whole subframes are from an M car and actually Z4M specific as well, which makes it even more rare. This, this whole chassis was very limited production, right? Very, very limited. It's very limited at the same time. Everything is very Z4M forum specific so it's really crazy I, I know these seats these seats go for like 10 to 15 grand nah swear no nah way bro swear Z4 so M seats. look at them look at them so you guys actually look inside of here look at the bucket look how sick yeah, that looks 15 grand bro because no they way. only came in the z4m coupes they're not Maybe. even the same ones for the the, the convertibles so that is pretty crazy uh, obviously you know we got the discounted version so we didn't get the seats that that's all we didn't get uh, but anyways i think as of right now let's go ahead and just start diving into the z4m and take off the things that i think makes this z4m special <laughs> Wow, guys, that literally looks fantastic. That looks insane in here. I don't know what it is, but doesn't it just look crazy? It looks great. Like, what it's is crazy. it? What's it called? Like a bayonet hood? Like the, the, uh, the extended hoods? Yeah, it's just like, a long nose. I don't know. I, look how much stuff is empty in here, bro. It's very spacious. It just is like an engine slapped in the middle of here. It just looks honestly insane. It looks That's crazy. Great. Let's just keep taking more things apart. I honestly just want to get to these headlights. We have so many other Z Farm specific parts on here that I'm really excited to show you guys. Let's just go ahead and just keep taking more things apart. Like this. 
of damage. They literally ripped right off. They ripped right off? Yeah, look. Oh my lord. That's all she wrote for the engine <laughs> mounts. <laughs> Good thing those aren't really worth much, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That stuff frame is so small. Look at it. It's like one little suffering. cross brace. That's it. Dang. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty crazy. Yeah, this whole car is crazy, guys. Like this, everything that we've taken apart on this car, like literally everything's kind of weird. The mufflers are individually like bolted, bolted to the on. exhaust. The, the mid pipe is mid, like individually bolted to the, I don't know if it's resonators. I don't know. Resonators maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's, that's individually right. bolted to the cats. And uh, every bracket on this car is different. Like even you found out the intake box is different compared to a normal S54 car. And literally all the little brackets and pieces are all exclusively Z4M. I can only imagine. You see that little brake booster over there? Yeah. Z4M? So I was like, I'm just going to leave that. It's probably just a normal Z4 brake booster. It is not no normal Z4 brake booster. What is it? it I looked it up, it's like four or 500. What? For a brake booster. What? So it's kind of crazy. crazy. If someone trying to rebuild one of these cars. Good luck. Sheesh. <laughs> I think if you had a personal one that you spent $60,000 on, and it's a clean title, and you got into a minor fender bender, you want to fix your car up, obviously, but man, oh man, you do not want to get these one off the part and try rebuilding it. It would cost yeah. an arm and a leg. But anyways, okay. the engine's out. I'm about to drag this bad boy out. We're gonna drop the rear end as well. We found out that the differentials are also a good amount of money. So we need to drop everything off this car, um, get it all off this thing, and then we probably need to start chopping some of the frame. Uh, what's also cool about this car um, that shares something similar to exotic cars is this quarter panel right over here. This quarter panel is not welded on. It's actually- Really? Yeah, it's like an exotic car. It's bolted. bolted on? Yep. Dang. So I can, we're just gonna literally unbolt the quarter panel. That's pretty sick. That's like exotic cars, which is kind of crazy. That's pretty cool. So literally all the panels on this car can be removed. We're gonna leave the doors on the car just cause they're already burnt. They're not really worth it. The roof, obviously we're just gonna leave it. Tailgate, definitely taking that. Rear bumper, quarter panels. We already took off side skirts. Nothing really left in the trunk, honestly. This thing's pretty much good for nothing. So uh, yeah, that being said, we still got a lot more work to do. It doesn't look like we have much left, but we still got a lot more. So I'll come back to you guys when this thing's 100% finished. My engine's out, so that's good news. We got the engine and transmission out of the car. Cool things looking at it right here. This shifter is definitely uh, Z4M specific. So that is pretty cool to see. Honestly, the rest of that forward, I don't think is any different than a normal S54. I think the transmission bracket may be the different right there. Mm -hmm. uh, this intake box. <laughs> definitely different. Normally, we throw these away. Look at the condition of this. You wouldn't even think otherwise, right? Oof. But what's crazy is, again, with the Z4M, these intakes in, in cracked condition, actually like burnt condition you saw, there's only mm. one other one for sale. It was going for five or $600. So that being said, maybe somebody that has, uh, you know, was involved in a lower end accident or something like that, the bottom box is cracked. Somebody's gonna wanna replace it with the bottom. These are two different pieces. We're just gonna go ahead and put it up there for somebody that might need the parts because a lot of these parts are discontinued. So a lot. a lot of them. So we're just gonna kind of put it out there for somebody and if they need it, they'll hit us up with an offer and I'd rather have somebody else use it for their car than throw it away because I, these are at this point a numbered item. This this very rare. It's very rare. So again, we're not being like cheap or anything like that, but at the same time, like, hey, if we can help somebody out there that's trying to rebuild a Z4M and he's looking for the bottom cover and literally not even the dealer selling it and there's no one on eBay, yeah. hey, you know, why throw it away at that point? At this point we do, uh, bro, look at this subframe, bro. Subframe is really That's small. That's the subframe. It's tiny. And if you guys look at it back here, this is the control arm. <laughs> so this is the subframe right here. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> that's gonna be the cheapest subframe we're ever gonna ship out. <laughs> Front subframe. Because that is like super, super small. So that is super cool. I gotta go ahead and disassemble all that. We're gonna take off the uh, brake booster. We have a bunch of stuff in the rear end we gotta take off as well, including the rear end of this car. So we'll catch you guys when all that is officially off. Something I actually noticed on this car, it has a manual, not a manual, but a plastic uh, steering rack 
whatever it's called. It's like a steering, technically like part of the steering, steering column, column. Shaft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steering shaft, basic long switch shaft. I've seen one of these plastic ones on a regular BMW. I forgot which one it was, and it was like $200, and it was a basic car. It was nothing special. Uh, long story short, when I saw it on this car, I knew it was gonna cost an arm and a leg, because this is a Z4M, and that is very uncommon. Turns out Jothi cannot find a single comparison anywhere on Google, nowhere on eBay, and BMW is selling this individual part currently on sale for about $900. I'm just gonna show them the price real quick. So. Let's see if it focuses. $852 on sale for that piece. This 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 little piece, by the way, guys, I'm, not, I'm just talking like when I unbolt it right here, from here to here. <laughs> so that's why when, when we won this car, it was it was kind of expensive, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was pretty expensive to the point to where I was like, am I gonna make my money back out of this car? Like. Or we're gonna have to reuse the frame for a drift car because we spent a lot of money. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was thinking it's just a normal Z4 everything. And then the only thing that's really crazy about it is the fact that it has an S54 engine in it. But it turns out everything around the engine is custom to this car. And that's why these cars are going up crazy up in value is because literally everything's discontinued on this car. Yeah, I don't know. I, I keep finding new things. They keep saying, well, check back to you guys once we get more things off the car, but we're just it's dumbfounded. Crazy. It's just crazy. It's, it's pretty crazy. $800 so. brand new for that thing that little piece and it doesn't even like yeah it's important but like it's also not that important well it's pretty important it's important but like think about it like bruh why did they make it plastic i don't that's what i don't that, understand I don't, get, uh, I don't know i don't know why it's plastic i need to do a little bit of research on that and educate myself on that but i have no idea on that to be honest with you lightweight maybe i don't know this thing is a pretty big car it's weird i don't know <laughs> whatever it is what it is but that's crazy Yep. So guys, the Z4M is chilling back there on the trailer. He's going off to the junkyard to uh, get some scrap off of it. And the rest of the parts, which honestly there was a lot of parts that were me and Joth are both surprised on, yeah. uh, is still here. So we have the engine right over here, the engine and transmission, the manual transmission with the S54 engine. And we do need to disassemble that from each other. Um, we do need to disassemble the front subframe. We got all the suspension control arms and all that kind of good stuff. And then we still have the rear end that we need to fully disassemble as well. Um, none of this stuff really sells well all together. So we're just gonna go ahead and just chip it all down. But yeah, for the most part, I don't know if you guys can see all that over there as well. That's all of the good panels we still took off the car, the quarter panels, the bumpers, uh, the tailgate, the side skirts, and so much more. Jonathan already listed a bunch of parts already and so far it's looking really promising so we'll keep you guys kind of posted uh once we got everything listed up and we'll kind of get you guys some numbers on how this car is looking are we actually gonna make money on this are we gonna lose money is it actually like a decent purchase we'll let you guys know here in a little bit The Z4M is officially gone. We only got $70 for scrap metal, but that's mainly because we literally took absolutely everything off of that car. We have the beautiful S54 just chilling like a villain right over here. Honestly, it is such a beautiful looking engine compared to the rest of these engines. They just don't look that pretty. I mean, the N63 does look pretty good, but that thing's just full of nightmares. So I prefer the S54. So that being said, all the parts that were right over here, shout out to Jonathan. He's already on top of it. He got them all cleaned up and listed up for the most part. There's a few other things to list up as well um, before we can actually say the Z4M parts are officially all listed up. We actually already sold a couple things in just a matter of filming this video. The headlights already sold and additionally one of like the plastic things on the bottom sold as well which both of those were absurd prices. Crazy how much the Z4M is exclusive. Like every single part on the Z4M is Z4M exclusive. They have individual part numbers. They are not the same as E46M3s. I thought they were the same even though the engine is the same. For example the intakes are different. The oil cooler is different. A bunch of the other coolers were different. Um, the plastics, the steering rack, the steering rack that guys um, is kind of insane. For those of you guys who are not car people or are watching this video, uh, that's how a steering rack looks like. And I believe it's uh, one of these. I don't know. It's one of these. It's one of these. I'm not sure. Jonathan kind of already listed it up and it's back there somewhere. But basically that steering rack costs more than the transmission. That's all I have to say. That was one of those shocking items that we couldn't honestly fathom uh, because the MSRP on that thing brand new is $4,000 and they're discontinued. So if someone really needs it, it's crazy. It's crazy. We have a couple other parts right over here getting finalized. You have the manual transmission. Um, those are all the coolers right over there. Then the rear axles with the hubs and all that kind of good stuff. Typically, I do like to remove the axles, but I think it's because it's been on there for so long. If I hit it anymore, it's gonna warp the head and I don't wanna ruin these perfectly good axles. So we're just gonna sell it complete just like that. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and head inside and see the full price breakdown um, of absolutely everything on the Z4M. Now, mind you guys, you already sold about $1,500 worth of things and it was like literally 
three or four items. So that's pretty awesome. And I just want to give this bad boy an honorable mention, guys. Check this thing out. I absolutely just love this GT4 lip. It really just makes the whole front end of this car it just looks so, so, so sick. And on another side note, if you guys want a little trickle charger, Harbor Freight has these for 10 bucks and uh, they really do the trick. All right, let's head inside and check out these Z4M parts. So guys, we are finally behind the counter right now and uh, we're looking at the numbers for what we had calculated for the Z4M. I'm not gonna lie, Jonathan, for a car with 204,000 miles. Not bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm very, very impressed. Typically with a car with this kind of miles, consider how, how bad it was. It was in, all the interior was gone. The whole front end panel wise was destroyed. Actually, a lot of the panels were just pretty Most much. Most of the panels. Even the front bumper had damage, the rear bumper had damage. Like typically a car in this condition, if it wasn't this rare, would be worth more than 10 in parts yeah. with this kind of money. That being said, I think we should just get right into the main thing. Right into it, keep it short and sweet for you guys. So the cac so what we have right here, as you guys can see, uh, we have $26,500 in parts listed for this car. Uh, that is not including the things we've already sold. Uh, the things we already sold, come around to this side, is a steering shaft for $400. The tailgate for $900 plus shipping, which is uh, pretty awesome. This random piece that was on top of the bumper, I can't believe that actually sold. Yeah, it's kind of random. Fender liner sold like the next day. Uh, this actually literally sold the next day. This was like a little plastic thing on the front bumper for $150. And we got the car for what, 65? 60, I think it was like 65, somewhere around there. 62 actually, something like that. So by the time we're making this video, we're just need to make another four, hopefully, and we're pretty much broken even. Broke so if even. we sell the engine, we broke even and everything else is broken. Yeah, so. engine alone with 206,000 miles, guys, is $4,300. That's insane. That's a lot. For a high mileage engine, that's like, we bro, you were like that's a very good price conservative. Too. That was a good price too. Very conservative. Like, I think that's the cheapest by, by a long shot. Mm -hmm. um, crazy thing about this car, quarter panels come off, not really worth much, unfortunately, like 200 bucks a pop, but they do just bolt off, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Like exotic Easy. car stuff. So even the exhaust, multiple pieces, comes apart. So we have that whole exhaust listed up. We'll actually ship that exhaust because it comes apart in multiple pieces. Uh, for those of you guys who want a quad tip Z4M exhaust. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot about this <laughs> we part. We forgot about this part. So um, yeah, as this refresh for you guys to see, these two items in between the engine and transmission, we had no idea they're worth a lot. We're worth that worth much. So much. That's worth more than the G80 ones. Yeah. Differential is $2,200, which is in, in Z4M specific? It's Z4M specific. The ratio is Z4M wow. specific. It's the, the thing is guys, these parts are just very rare. So like $2,400 for like a steering rack is ridiculous, but there's none available. I couldn't find a single thing sold, unsold, nothing. And what was the MSRP on that? The MSRP was like 4,300 or something like that. The, brand new. The, and it's, that it's is, discontinued too, so. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, is you can't find The them. reason why that price was so high to begin with, and that's why Z4M's guys are super expensive. This car was very limited production. Like to the point to where every part on that car was specific to that car and it was limited to production. You guys can only imagine the machinery it took to make these particular items for this car. Yeah. Like the 1M shared a lot of parts with other BMWs. It did. So, you know, a lot of the parts on that car isn't too crazy. You can pretty much build that car for quite an affordable price, but building a Z4M to the T, it's very insane. Expensive. Yeah, everything's just very expensive. Even the bumpers. Yeah, that's all Z4M specific. So. Uh, yeah, I think if we're gonna have to say something real quick, that steering rack is just absurd. It is absurd. I think that's, really that's something we have to point out. Insane. So just kind of coming down this list, you guys can see wheels worth about twelve hundred. Uh, the fan assembly was Z4M specific, right? Yeah. That was eight hundred dollars. Uh, and just you know, kind of going down this list, a bunch of the ECU by itself, without a key, yeah. without a, without a uh, what's it Cas four seventy five. Uh, pretty expensive. Pretty expensive. And you know, the list can go on, and then it kind of gets down to, you know. Decent price. This girl really wants to really wants to dip on me here. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of, I don't even want to drag this out any longer than it is, uh, but it, this was definitely a crazy car for us. I did not think there's going to be nearly $30,000 in parts on this car. Yeah, literally like around, I, around the 29. To I was hoping 000. to double on this one. Yeah. And this is like what? Quadruple? About a quadruple or so. Yeah. Quadruple or maybe a multiplier, more. bro. It, it's about four times, four to five times worth like of what we got it for. So. 24, yeah, four to five times. Yeah, like four to five thousand. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. That being said, guys, we do want to get a lot more crazy cars in our inventory. The Z4M was just a stepping stone in the right direction for us. We now finally have some Z4M yes. 
inventory, which is super sick. We're trying to get into some more unique cars. We also have another genre of cars. Instead of BMWs, we're trying to also tap into. You guys will be seeing here pretty soon. Um, and that's also gonna be a different kind of content for you guys as well. Everyone, and I say everyone, is literally <laughs> gonna love these type of cars because so. as BMW enthusiasts, it's the next step. It's the next step. That's first. the biggest hit, guys. So. Literally, literally. And it's not McLaren, it's not Lamborghini, it's nothing like that. We can't even afford that if it's we wanted to. It's pretty realistic jump. It's a car. realistic jump, and uh, it's absolutely amazing cars. Yeah. We're actually going to be building one here on the channel pretty soon as well. Yeah, uh, hopefully. We'll see what happens, but let's just go ahead and end this video. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, uh, see you on the next one. Peace out.